This is something I've been waiting to open for a while and been really excited about. Uh, for some reason, I just never have, and it's been kind of sitting on my uh, table in my room. This, obviously, it's not a toy, but it's trading cards, and I've, I've opened some, some trading cards in other episodes. Um, but this is Walt Disney Pictures' new fantasy adventure movie, Return to Oz, stickers, bubblegum, story cards, from 1985, made by Topps. And this is a sealed, 100% sealed package. Uh, you can see there's a sticker there from somewhere. I think I had this at the Florence Antique Mall, or maybe the Ohio Valley Antique Mall, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on this. These were made and printed in the USA. You don't see that, that too often. Um, and yeah, so a whole box of them. There are 36 packages. I don't know if I'm going to get the whole set or not. That was always kind of a disappointment when I was a kid, not save up my allowance for a really long time and buy a, a box of like basketball cards, and there wasn't a whole set. Uh, sometimes now you actually see it, it'll say, you know, you're guaranteed to get a whole set if you buy a box, which, which makes sense. I mean, you know, I was dropping some serious coin. The Florence Mall Coins Plus when I was a kid. Um, if you haven't seen Return to Oz, you need to. Um, it, it, you know, for people who are fans of, say, um, like Labyrinth and Dark Crystal and Never Ending Story, Return to Oz, in my opinion, is... I don't, it's not better than all of them. Never Ending Story is pretty sweet. Uh, Labyrinth is cool. I, you know, I, I didn't actually see Dark Crystal until I was like... In my mid 20s so uh, but it's in the same vein kind of weird bizarre sort of dark freaky 80s movies um made for children and it's actually based off of the second and third uh wizard of oz novels um there are actually 17 and i've read mm, about half of them and um the first one's good very different very different than the the film uh, there are no ruby slippers you might know that if you've ever watched um Girl Interrupted. Um, that looks die cut, but it's not. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is how you would see it, you know, in a store, a grocery store, a corner shop or whatever, maybe even a toy store. Might have a box like this. You know, you grab a package, and they cost, um, I don't know, what, a quarter, maybe. Um, so, we have TikTok. We have Jack Pumpkinhead. We have the Scarecrows, the same Scarecrow from the, the first movie. Uh, we have Dorothy and her uh, chicken, Belina. And these are pretty These are pretty sweet. I, I, I kind of want to just keep them how they are, but I also want to open all of them because, you know, I like to open things. That's kind of my jam. Um, anyway, back to the movie. It, it combines the second and third book, which are actually pretty cool. Um, I would highly recommend reading them because there's a whole backstory to... Uh, the Ten Woodsmen, there's a whole backstory to the Flying Monkeys, and it just gives you a, a completely different perspective on all of it, and it's um, pretty cool. I wouldn't really read past the third book because they get pretty, they get kind of bad, um, but I'm a big fan of TikTok. If you ever seen the movie, he's pretty badass. There's the wheelers, which are freaky. Um, there's like the queen who has all the different heads, which is really freaky, so a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, I'm stoked to open these. These are from 1985. I was two years old. So these are 32 years old because today is November 10th, 2017. Um, oh man, you know, just looking at this, like I kind of, like I kind of don't want to, but you know, I have to. That's that's what this is all about. Um, and let's just kind of admire that for a little bit. Think back; it's 1985, and this is in your local, you know, drugstore or grocery store or whatever and Wizard of Oz is your your jam return to Oz I should say um yeah we're just gonna I'm just gonna go into it I don't know how many I'm gonna open for you this is gonna be kind of a long episode so i um, get a snack so we got some gum in previous episodes you've seen me actually chew some of the gum I'm not gonna do that right now because my stomach kind of hurts and um I, I just actually used some mouthwash not that long ago um, so, I didn't know these were all stickers, which makes it even better. Um, so there's the Scarecrow, there's Dorothy and Belina, uh, there's the, the Queen I mentioned that is evil, I forget her name. Uh, oh, there is Princess Mombi. Yeah, she's, she is nutso. Uh, there you have the, uh, Troll King, 
Um, there's a wheeler, which is the wheelers are, are freaky deaky. Um, so all kinds of all kinds of stuff going. Just that's that's pack number one. Um, we're already five minutes into this. And I'm excited. Like this is this is fun. I saved this. Um, so she's hiding from the wheelers there. There's the gump. A long story, but that's the gump right there. Uh, that's a double. That's a double. Oh man, I've got a bunch of doubles. That's okay. So I'm probably gonna keep some of these intact. I don't know how many there are. Um, I see people on eBay selling the, the full sets. There's uh, Belina. She's actually kind of a hero. Wheelers, that is cool. That would make like a cool uh, t-shirt or... And there's Dorothy. She actually, it starts out, it's really weird. She's going to, um, like, she's kind of like in this mental institution. I don't know, there's the Gump again. It's really dark and bizarre, but that's just kind of how, I guess, you know, some children's literature was back then in the early 20th century. If you've ever read, like, The Secret Garden and, you know, um, some of those kind of early, like, the uh, Brothers Grimm and stuff, they are, they're a little scary. There's Bolina again. It's a double, the Wheelers. So it's interesting. I wonder how they sort of pack these in here, like how they decide what goes in what. Um, yeah, these are definitely some cool wax packs. Jack the Pumpkinhead. There's no, this is no way to treat royalty. Obviously, she's not a good person. The Scarecrow again, same Scarecrow from from the first film. Um, yeah, so watch Return to Oz. I own it on VHS. If you want to come over and watch it sometime, we can. Um, I live in Erlanger, Kentucky. It's about uh, seven miles, ten miles from Cincinnati, Ohio. So we can, we can hang out and watch, um, watch Return to Oz. I have a pretty, pretty decent, um, VHS collection. I watched Waterworld the other day. Um, I have Last Starfighter. I haven't watched that yet. So we can come over, hang out, um, open some toys. We can buy a bunch of the extra toys I have for sale. There's Toto. Uh, TikTok, badass, like super badass. We can read. I actually have a bunch of the um, Wizard of Oz novels. That doesn't sound very fun to sit around and read those, but um, that is a thing that, that can be done. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to open any more. I'm, I'm going to leave you there because uh, I could bore you to death with, uh, you know, talking about this movie and... Um, you know, but you you gotta you gotta watch it. It's just it's a good movie. It's cool. It's weird. Um, there's Princess Mombi. Return to Oz. Walt Disney Pictures, 1985. Tops sticker gum, bubble gum story card. The gum is very actually still a little gummy. Um, yeah. So you know what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and. Um, I'm going to switch over to like Instagram. I'm going to open some of these guys live. Maybe not live. Maybe just do it on my story. And, um, yeah, we'll kind of kind of go from there. And hopefully I get a complete set. I don't know how many there are, but I'll go online and I'll find out. Thanks for watching. This is a cool one. I like this one. Um, it's weird. It's different. It's Return to Oz. It's Dorothy. It's TikTok. The Scarecrow. Uh, the Wheelers. They will give you nightmares. Jack Pumpkinhead. Toto. Um... Yeah, so check out the movie. Seriously, like super highly recommended.